What is it about Italian motorcycles? It's just Italy on two wheels. That's what it's about. They're loaded with idiosyncratic stuff that you've got to deal with. You know, they know how to spill oil. They know how to not fuel that well. You live with an Italian. When I got home after riding this bike, it just made me feel like I'd been through the streets of Florence and you can't buy that. The Griso 8V SE is special. And I'll tell you why. It's all about Mr. Tenney. It's all about V-twin, transverse, throw you off the side of the motorcycle, arguing, hard to get along with, beauty. I feel like I've had a Lambrusca with Sophia Loren today and a dink with Ago around Monza when he had somewhere else to be. That you cannot buy and that's what the Grisso does for me. lovely Moto Guzzi Griso 8V SE. SE stands for Special Edition. Bit of a special bike, this one. Um, this is owned by a friend of mine, Anne-Marie, and she rides it. So don't expect a brand new spotless motorbike. This bike is ridden and ridden regularly. It's 40,000 Ks on it now. So let's have a little bit of a walk around it. Now down the back here, I must do this first so I can remember it. The C-A-R-C on the shaft. That stands for Cardano Reattivo Compatto. You didn't think I'd know that, did you? Anyway, uh, moving on. Nice badge, badge work, which, uh, you know, sets off the by. It's that lovely green. This paint job actually pays homage to uh, Mr. Tenney, uh, who was very involved with Moto Guzzi. In fact, won 47 races for Guzzi. Uh, until he put his cue in the rack in 1948. What's lovely about this bike is just everything's, you know, beautifully made. And, and, um, it's moving a little bit, but big deal. It's just, it's proper steel. Everything's proper steel. And of course that transverse V-twin that everybody knows and loves uh, and identifies with as a Moto Guzzi trademark. I love that little badge top of the head. Quattro Valvoli, of course, eight valves. I mean, you can say fish and chips in Italian and it sounds cool. That lovely badge. There's nice accents all around this bike, as there should be. It is a special edition. Now, it's air-cooled officially, but this is a dirty bit oil cooler, so that's doing some work there as well. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, I have to be honest, um, but you know, it's got to be there. Lovely Brembo radial uh, brakes. Uh, stops like on a dime. As I say, it's dirty because Emery rides it. Um, but I like that. I love that. That green paint work, of course, is, uh, comes with the SE. Uh, moving back around so I don't get shadows all over the place. That lovely big... Uh, fuel filler I love that just little touches it's, I mean, it's not it's not rocket science it's understated it's Italian now this one has a Zard exhaust which I really love because it's loud and uh, if you've got a Guzzi without a pipe on what's wrong with you um, also what sets this bike apart is those uh, lovely spoked tubeless wheels and the blacked out rim the bikes blacked out a lot engine, uh, the rim, uh, all, all around the place, the bars, and of course that uh, front fork. Uh, suspension's fully adjustable, which is great, both ends, you'd expect that. Um, and uh, it is beautifully suspended. It's a little bit stiff the way it's set up at the moment. I rode it up from Melbourne to Lakes Entrance as a permitted worker. Um, and uh, I, I really want to get some uh, compression damping 
um, out of it because it's, uh, I think a kidney popped out of my ear roll at one point, but that's all adjustable. Uh, I like the setup here that has an analog taco and a digital speedo. That's my favorite setup. Um, clear as a bell. Now, really, you've got to hear this thing. You probably won't hear it well because these things don't work on very well coming through these speakers. Okay, so what is it about Italian motorcycles? Just something about Italian motorcycles. Particularly one that's a little bit special. And that exhaust note, of course this isn't a standard exhaust, but that exhaust note makes me want to sort of blat everywhere I go. don't necessarily have to ride it fast, but it just makes you want to sort of make a noise. I don't know if you're going to be popular with the neighbours, but you just can't help yourself. Okay, what have we got here? Well, we've got 222 kilograms of really naked sport bike. It's a little bit special and we'll talk about the reasons why this particular one is a limited edition motorcycle. Uh, it makes uh, 80.3 kilowatts at 7,500 RPM. Uh, but interestingly, it makes all of its torque, or 90% of its torque, between 3,000 and 7,000. So that's a really big spread of uh, rev range to have almost maximum torque. And that really does define this motorcycle. It's just all about available uh, grunt, just about whenever you need it. It's not the world's fastest motorbike. Uh, I think it's 1151cc, uh, an 8 valve, quattro valvole, as the wonderful Italians, I mean you can, you can say half a dozen cans in a tan and it sounds good, and that's the thing about these motorbikes, I mean they're not perfect, but they're, they've got blood that pumps through them. And this is one of them. It just, I love riding this bike. And I really didn't expect to. I mean, I do like Gootsies. Um, I've, I've always liked Gootsies, but they are a particular thing. I mean, the first time you rev one at the lights and it wants to throw you off the bike and <clears throat> into the milk bar across the road, uh, they're quirky and they're different. Um, that transverse engine sort of rolling from side to side takes some getting used to um, but there's history and there's heritage and this also and one of the things I really like about this bike it's fully adjustable in fact I wanted to talk about that on this ride I found I, I really do need to adjust that rear suspension it's quite uh, stiff. I want to get some, some of the some of the compression damping out of that. Um, it's knocking me around a bit around the clagger, but it's all there. It's all adjustable. Um, you know, lovely radial uh, wave discs on laced up wheels. So you get the spoked wheels. It's just, just gorgeous. Um, lots and lots of things to really like. And I've got a feeling that this bike's going to become worth a quid. Um, it is a limited edition. Um, it has got some special gear. Um, it is a delightful motorbike to ride. It, it really is. Um, it's more sport bike than uh, than just naked. Uh, well, what would you say? Just a stripped back. Uh, a fared bike. It's it's more, more refined than that, but the pegs are quite rear set. 
um, although the sitting position is pretty comfortable, I did uh, oh, I was 400 k's on it yesterday, I suppose, and uh, <clears throat> pretty easy running like what we're doing here, but quite comfy. I was very surprised. I thought, oh, this is going to hurt. You know, those are TMZ. There's a price to pay for all that glory. It's the sort of stuff that this bike just revels in. Just revels in. Blasting in and out of corners. Get on those radial Brembo's. Pull it up quick. Dump it in on a lean and it's very reliably stable. Just holds that sort of uh, running really nice absolute delight very confidence inspiring damn clever those Italians what a great little road Park, Homestead and Gardens, Walking Tracks. Sounds a bit like us, doesn't it? Let's go and have a look. Goes all right. You don't, have to be, you don't have to be going off your nut, you know? And that suits me. I, I mean, I love fast bikes. But I also love feeling like I'm going fast and, and some of the big leader bikes, some of the full-on sports stuff, unless you're doing ballistic speeds, you're really not testing yourself at all the motorbike. And, uh, you know, we're all getting older, we're all on the road. Give me something like this that makes a bit of noise and yeah, it goes all right, don't worry about that. makes me feel like an old road racer, you know? I get a big kick out of that, and it's making more and more sense to me. And I think the market's saying that too. The market seems to be quite happily turning to either adventure or naked bikes, moving away a little bit from hyper uh, sports bikes, just simply because, I mean, hey, they're hard to ride on the road because Plot doesn't like it. It's very funny about that sort of stuff. So yes, adventure where you can get uh, get your jollies with a bit of uh, wheel spin in the dirt. And um, bikes like this that uh, handle well, make a really great sound, have a degree of exclusivity, uh, and just just fun. Just comes down to that. The bloody thing's fun. 